This week, there is a research project that went viral called LLM Brain Rot. Yes, that was actually the name of the research study. And I think the researchers knew exactly what they were doing with that name. That was definitely going to peak. 100%. Some they knew that, the, that that was going to catch on. But what they actually discovered is pretty interesting. Um, when you train AI models on content generated by other AI models, so essentially AI slop like that, that is generated by Sora, et cetera, et cetera. When you train it on that type of content, the quality degrades over time. We can call it AI inbreeding. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. So when AI trains on AI generated content instead of human content, it starts reinforcing its own biases and errors, which causes mm. massive problems down the line. Yeah, we talked about this in our slop episode, but it's, you know, making a photocopy of a photocopy yeah. of a photocopy, right? Each generation gets a little bit more blurry, a little more degraded, just not quite as good as you were hoping. Yeah, because we talk about AI slop a lot. We've talked about it a lot recently. And this is exactly mm -hmm. why it matters, because with all of this AI generated content that is flooding the internet, it's going to cause a major issue when it comes to training data further on down the line. And if future AI models train on all that synthetic content, we're looking at a gradual decline in the quality and the accuracy across the board. So it's really this self-reinforcing cycle we need to be aware of. And this is why OpenAI and Anthropic and all the large language models are making these licensing deals with the likes of the New York Times and Vox and the Financial Times, and because they need that high quality human generated content to keep their models from degrading.